lot of enterprise developers would agree that is not the most fun topic to test, right? Tests are typically kind of boring. They run slow. They're sometimes not really maintainable. And when I come to enterprise projects, I see some room for improvement in testing usually. And I recently published along a blog article series on my thoughts on efficient testing, how to make enterprise testing a little bit more efficient, more maintainable, more reliable and more fun ultimately. Um, but I also wanted to record a video series if that is easier to watch uh, for you and a few tips and tricks in the next um, video episodes to make that happen. So what I will focus on is enterprise Java projects. I will use um, Jakarta EE micro profile, but it's actually true for all enterprise Java technology. So also if you're a Spring developer, there might be some helpful tips and tricks in here for you. So what I also will focus on is Maven. I will have a Maven uh, project here. And this is my coffee shop application that I will use in this course, which I want to test. And in this Maven structure, what I will show you here is how to run the tests with Maven or basi basically what is the difference between Surefire or unit tests or integration tests, fail safe tests. And also what I have uh, typically in this structure is that I have my main project here, which is the coffee shop project that includes the uh, production code and also some test code. And also I have usually a dedicated system test project. So the reason for that is that I want to isolate um, by testing the system tests or acceptance tests that test the application from the outside by using the boundaries like the HTTP boundaries, for example, and not tangling the um, technologies together so that these two projects are separated. And what I will show you right now is when we build the project, for example, we could use something like Maven Clean Package or Maven Clean Install or as a lot of people would say Maven Package is actually sufficient if we don't um, need the clean face. Actually, you might um, want to have a look into the Maven faces, how that works. So if we do this typical Maven build, then what happens, they already execute the unit test for us. And what is a unit test? In our case, we can have a look at that. It means that the Maven Surefire plugin runs the test for us. So in this case, we have per default a Maven Surefire plugin that runs some tests. I will use plain JUnit uh, technology to uh, execute my tests. You can also use uh, TestNG if, if that is your technology of choice. The reason why I almost always use JUnit it's, it's, uh, is it's way more widespread and used out there. And then everything that you see in the project here is only our only test dependencies. So that is very, very important in order to make your test um, and your whole build uh, life cycle really efficient. This needs to execute fast. So I don't want to add a lot of dependency in my project that are not really required. Actually, in this, this is the system test project, but here it's the same. In my coffee shop project, I only have the Jakarta um, dependency provided sometimes a micro profile as well, also only provided dependencies and the rest is only test dependencies. And another best practice, keep your POM file simple. So the only plugins I use here is, well, actually these are all default plugins. The only reason why I actually have to specify them is because I use a recent version of Java that's not a 13, which is the current version right now, but 12. And then because of the Maven versions, I need to actually have a recent version. The default one would be too old and it throws warnings. Um, but these three plugins are the only ones that I'm using here. So you see the short file plugin was executed. And the reason for that is I have a few tests. This is just an example of a unit test or a surefire test. The reason for that is it ends with the word test. So that is a Maven convention and that's already good to know. You don't have to configure anything in your plugin. You just name your test test and then they already run. I have another example of a test which is a so-called integration test or IT. So that is also a Maven convention and these tests are not executed by default. This will be executed by the failsafe plugin if I um, run that explicitly. So if you have tests that shouldn't be executed in your default build phase, for example, this test is a so called smoke test, it will just very quickly connect against my running application and then verify some, you know, very basic behavior. But this needs a running application. And in my case, that is only be executed when I actually already have something running. So 
Again, if I uh, call Maven package or Maven verify, then it will build my project and it will only execute the Surefire tests. And in any way, it should run fast. So these code level tests will be executed. In the next episode, we will uh, talk uh, more about them. And the other phase is the integration test. So failsafe integration test runs only my integration test. So this is the IT that I have here and only one test has been executed now. And actually this test will also run very, very quickly and just connect against my already running environment. So these are the differences um, between these two types of tests. Um, the takeaway is you don't have to configure anything. You can use the Maven defaults and ideally you have a, a project build that is very simple and that just executes very quickly. Your Maven builds, even in a more um, complex uh, project, should not take much longer than this in seconds. If your build takes um, half a minute or more, this is too slow. And the reason for that is developers need fast feedback. In the next uh, episodes, we will talk a little bit more about that.